Hello, Hello, everyone, and Hello. welcome to the Ladies Tale Podcast. Because I mean, a podcaster has to be on a Ladies Tale Podcast, right? Oh my God. And it's like so important. High five! Thought about that on the fly. Woo! I feel important today. Feel like I have my wait, 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 wait. Jade, you're taking, you're taking, I'm Jade, and I'm Winona, and you're taking up way too much energy space. Give me some back. Like I'm supposed to stump you. I'm not supposed to be sitting here quiet. Like what? I'm serious and professional today. Well, no, somebody no, has to be. No. Uh, I am serious and professional today because I cracked my tooth this morning. So yes, oh, there you go. No. She, she has she has painkillers in her system. So she's I fine. do. I have painkillers in my system. Well, not really. It's like ibuprofen, but we're right. going to count it, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, I mean, I've been that titch when, of a tiny bit of scotch. Well, listen, when in when in pain, sometimes Don't. ibuprofen <laughs> is the best thing in the world. You'll be like, thank you so much for the ibuprofen. And a little bit of scotch. And a little <laughs> bit of scotch. Because I mean, why not? I mean, excuses for uh, you know a little bit tumbler, a little bit of scotch, you know, know whatever. We're, <laughs> we're, we're talking to all. We won't literally like guys with high poetry. Thank you. And I thought the voice was bad, but I like left this. And I thought being grown up was easy. If only I for me a memoir. What we're gonna get this right? <laughs> no, we're not. Um, if only I would. See, if only I were me. I did. I, I, I already said Widow's that. Web, Widow's Debt, and Foreign Coffee. Yeah, all of those give them audio books. If you like them, you check that out. Or you can check out my favorite book. And I thought <clears throat> I did my journey alone on www and everything you ladies are doing on www.andithoughtladies.com. You're welcome because I just pulled that back. But y'all don't hear anything about us. She saved it from the edge. You're here to hear about our wonderful guests. Wonderful guests. Would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know. I don't know how to follow that. So I'm going to tell you about myself. I'm Molly O'Keefe. I'm a writer. Uh, I also write under the name Molly Fader. Um, I have a podcast and I once too broke my tooth, chipped my tooth. What did you chip your tooth on? I don't know. I woke up this morning. I guess I chipped it on my face. <laughs> <laughs> on your face though, Winona. Bad. On your whole That's a bad face. chip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have said, I should have said something practical. Like maybe I, I was grinding my teeth that night and maybe it broke. No, there we go. You just practical. woke up with a chipped tooth. Yes. yes. This, she oh. was like, what is this? And I was like, get you tipped. I, I okay, I'm sorry. We're not talking about us. We, yes, we so introduced our guest. You, you wrote stuff. What did you No, write? hold on. I have a real question. Wow. Wow. You said <laughs> you just, I'm saving what? it from the edge. Saving me from the edge, absolutely. Save it from the edge. With this one, I'm sorry. You're saving it from the edge with this one? Yeah. Like you just so make up question. a song? Um, you write prolifically. So first and foremost, how can I become like you and write this many books? Well, like I started pretty young. I started, like you're pretty young. So my, chan- the, the, my guess is that by the time you get to be my age, you'll be pretty prolific too. You guys are working hard. I've The two of you are hustling. Like I have not, seen to him you've got like clothing lines and board games and web series and podcasts and you're both writers so i mean i'm not doing any of that i'm just writing books podcast. <laughs> you have a podcast and, and the, the podcast, podcast is new podcast. the podcast is new right so i'm a writer i write romance novels under the name molly o'keefe i write really sexy romance novels under the name m o'keefe so secretive and then i write like you know uh, book club fiction under the name Molly Fader. So, and I've written, I've got, I'm, I'm over 50 books, but I'm also like, you know, 46 years old and this is my job. So, but you, but you wrote over 50 books, like 50. So that means Girl, in one year, we write, we write poetry and we can't even write 50. <laughs> well, it's because you're making board games guys you, you've you've diversified i am a i am a one trick pony and you guys are diversified you have a so, podcast okay. though okay, oh i do a, i do have podcast. a podcast my so podcast is podcast. First of all, you have amazing <laughs> people on your podcast yes i'm just trying to get on the end like just to say like three words on the end of one of them. Like, <laughs> All right. How, what, how we're going to book you. We're going to book you on the end to get, <laughs> well, we will book you on the end, but here's the thing that I've discovered about the podcast is that you just ask, like you guys did it. You guys just emailed me. Right. And you just ask like right writers. I, I think even like the writers that we think are really, really, you know, important or big, nobody ever, asked, like they just don't get asked. You know, if you're an actor or a singer or something like that, you get asked, but writers, 
man, they just want to talk about their books. So I just asked and then it, then it started to really grow. Exactly. Exactly. So how did it feel when it took off? Like yes. I looked at, I looked up something and then your name came up as like 20, well, top 25 podcast. And I was like, top Ooh. 25 new podcast. What? And I was what? like, what? And, I we was, and she said yes to be on our show. Is she sure? Well, she's <laughs> booked in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's pretty much how I did it. I was like, ah. <laughs> so we both shared a laugh. We were like, she booked in now. She can't take it back. Well, she could, but we don't think she is. <laughs> then I, no, like, then I completely. Quiet, she'll never know until she shows up. <laughs> I don't know. I, well, I've shown up. I you, on the podcast you can't see this, but they have like this beautiful set decoration. It's like a Grecian urn that your father made. It's the sweetest yes. thing you've ever seen. He's just the best. He's the best. He couldn't have us out here looking crazy. He's like, I can't have you out here looking like you have looking no out for you. <laughs> so there we go. No home training. I, I love it. Cause, he's like, Cause my mama passed away like right before we went on our first TV tour. Like yeah. she was here for like most of our podcast tour, but like the week before we went on our first TV tour, tour, yeah. tour she just, she just died one day. Like, yeah. and that was it. Um, and we got a plane week later and we were on, we were in LA for like a week. Before. Yeah, we were. We were just um, like, so like, I think it? he's taking the place of what my mother would have done. Cause <laughs> she would have like clothes and hair and da, 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 da. And he was like, Grecian pot. I was like, this is a great balance. This is a balance. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great balance. So what, what was the TV tour? So we went to LA. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Mm, that's why mm, I love when we have podcasts. We're you. <laughs> when you have podcasts, they'll be like, tell me more. <laughs> I've told you, you my life is so like, boring. Tell me more. Wait, wait, honestly, just tell me what was the TV tour? So we went um to LA. We did like radio and TV. So we promoting our book, talking um about one of the things that we are we are most passionate about, uh, emotional abuse and how survivors and survivors because if we supported emotional abuse that would just be stupid i mean I, I mean obviously we don't uh, support oh my goodness that sounds okay you just let me go over the edge thank you well no oh, wait i think i pushed oh, you, she pulled you back she pulled you back she saved you she saved me yes <laughs> so talking about uh, emotional uh, being survived well <laughs> our, our first book is is a has some poems about um emotional abuse and how like a lot of people don't see the scars and so they think oh it's nothing and actually it's actually something so we went and we talked about that in um, the title of the book but that's not important yeah because we had to hear about you and your book you can tell that this was not a planned question that she asked us because uh over we have a thousand interviews and jade has never stumbled like that i never ever (laughs) in my life never ever so now my dad will be watching this on the youtube and being like what happened there (laughs) he stumped you you got stumped (laughs) Oh, oh my gosh, if your dad's watching, uh, you're sweet. You're sweet guy. You're a sweet man. Yeah, of course. He watches every one. Awesome. Bless his soul. Oh, no. <laughs> um, no. Uh, um, so back to you. Uh, my question about uh, writing was going to be what everyone wants to know. How did you find your literary agent? And what was it like the first time you knew you were going to be published? Then we can go talk about like real things. Um, so the, when I found my agent, it's, it's actually a pretty funny story. Oh no. Did you not want to, it was that, what are you whispering about? Yeah. That's oh, right. no, 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 yeah. <laughs> so we were saying, found- saying let's, it's time for us to get our notebooks out. Maybe she'll tell us how poets, how poets can get, uh, represented. And I wish I knew, I'll, I wish I knew, I, I mean, I was about to ask you a question, but I, I don't, I really don't know a whole lot about poetry and about the market and how to you know, try to climb towards bestseller rank with that. I'm sorry that I don't. Um, But I started like writing novels was really all I ever wanted to do. And so I went to college to be a journalist, to be like a magazine journalist. But I was like, I'm just, I'm just here until I sign my book. (laughs) This is paying my bills. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I I went to school and I wrote all night and, um, and all I ever wanted to do was write romance novels. I, I loved romance novels they saw me through some really really hard times in my life and I just I love romance novels so I sold my first one to Harlequin which was like you know the the books that all of our grandmothers had in their (laughs) their bookshelves and um when I was like 25 and at that point Harlequin didn't need you didn't need to have an agent um but then 
like I sold a couple and then it was kind of like, I think I need some help. I really do think I need some help to know what to do. I'm not great with details. I certainly don't know anything legal. Like I, I, and if I want to grow, I, I need somebody who knows more than I do. So at the time there was a really great organization um, that had a huge national conference. And so you'd go to these conferences and you'd have meetings with editors and agents. And I was in, I, I want to say it was like Florida. It was hot. And I was in a shuttle from the airport to the hotel and they had packed us in this shuttle. Like we were right next to each other and I'm sitting right next to this woman and I am absolutely, all I can think about is the fact that I can feel that I am sweating on her. <laughs> Like my leg is pressed up against hers. There's nowhere to go. And I'm like, I'm sweating on this person. And then you start making like, you know, chit chat. And she was an agent and she was an agent that I had a meeting with later that in that conference. <laughs> what a great thing. Yeah. I know it was, like, it was like, I couldn't, it was already so awkward that it couldn't like it could only go up and she's been okay. my agent ever since she's been absolutely Man, amazing. I love it. That is the first time the sweat is useful for anything but cooling your organism. <laughs> right. Right. I'm so happy that sweat happened. I'm just, like right now. I'm just like, maybe I could sweat on somebody. Now that, <laughs> that was something that would have happened. <laughs> we had a panel once and then we were like, well, can we, how do we get a, a play? And they were like, oh, you have to be in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. I was like, we could be at the right place at the right time with all the right people in the same room. And you know what's going to happen? We're going to trip. We're going to spill our coffee on them. Our papers are going to fly everywhere. And then while we're trying to, they're trying to help us get it up, they're going to trip and then they're going to fall and they'll never want to meet us again. But and we're going to. But we'll get a TV show out of it because they love the idea. They love the idea. And they're like, just never talk to me again. Just that's the, how that would happen. Because when they on someone, that's up our line. I feel like I need to take that because the Misfit Guides, like, I feel like we are the authors of the Misfit Guide series. So I feel like that needs to be in a Misfit Guide somewhere. So, well, I feel like you guys are um, absolute uh, proponents of be real in every situation that you're in. So if sweat's going to happen, it's going <laughs> to <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's gonna. I'm glad you sweated on that person. So, uh, <laughs> so what was the call like when you got published? Oh my goodness! So that was actually another funny story. So I was living in uh, California, and I was a substitute teacher. And I don't know, uh, substitute teachers get you know called really early in the morning, and they're like, "Oh, we need you to come in." And I had a job lined up at a school already. And so I got this phone call and I'm in California and the offices for Harlequin were in Toronto. So that's Eastern time zone and whatever. And, um, I got a phone call at six o'clock in the morning and I wake up and they're like, Molly Fader. And I was like, yeah, um, I already have a job today. I don't need a job. And I hung up and they call back. <laughs> they're like, they, um, we're not, I mean, we're offering you a job. We're not offering you a job where I'm calling from Harlequin. And it took me like 20 minutes to figure out what was going on. And they didn't realize that I was in a different time zone. So the first time I got the call, I hung up on them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Like this is better than oh this my is, goodness. I, I just that's all my yes, this is, this this is, this is great. better than our life. <laughs> yes, and this, this is, is great. great. I, I just mm, I feel like I need popcorn to be like it's <laughs> the most stories, please. That's it. That's the, those are the two good ones I've got. Sweat okay. and I hung up on the, my editor. Jamie, do you have one more question? Oh yeah. So <clears throat> as authors out here or people that are trying to be authors, right? We need some advice. How did you continue to be motivated to write? Oh, and God. how are you continuing to be motivated? Right. I mean, besides money, because checks are nice. Everybody yeah. needs them in their lives. Yeah. I, you know, something that's interesting. I like, I want to ask you guys that question about working together. Cause I feel like you got to fit into the eight minute interview at the tail end. At the, the tail time. end, write it down. So we'll, we'll answer Okay. It. Okay. Okay. I'll ask in, you when you come on. I'll ask you when you come on. I'll ask this question when you come on. Um, so how, you know, something it's, it's really hard. It's, I, you know, it's not really hard. Sometimes it's really hard. Sometimes it's so hard, it's impossible. And then sometimes it's so easy. I can't believe that I have this gig, you know? Um, but I try to be consistent. I used to be very, very good at like cutting myself some slack and being really generous with myself when I was like, not feeling it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then, you know, my career kind of started to really roll and then other people were involved in deadlines and, you know, wider stuff. And then I couldn't really be generous, <laughs> you know, like there was a, there was a cost to that. Um, and then I had this, I mean, COVID and I had this awful case of burnout 
And I was like, wow, I think maybe I just don't know if I can do this again. And then I just read a lot and I watched so much television and I read a lot and I watched so much television. <laughs> I listened to music and like, just took my time and tried to like fill the well back up. So I think my answer is like, how do you do it? I think you've got to be open to the universe and all of the great ideas that come out of nowhere. Um, and then you've got to protect yourself a little bit. You've got to protect yourself from give. I mean, I think as women, maybe we, we give a lot of ourselves to a lot of different relationships and a lot of different situations. And all of that is creative energy going out the door. You know, we just have to be careful, you know, and, and protect ourselves a, a little bit. Some I really that. great advice. I, I, I love this advice. Like, this First is of great. all, I love that you we're allowed to burn out. That, that, that's my <laughs> first. Um, <laughs> first no. Second. Two. Well, you, listen, ladies, are you not like how, how, how like you seem to be really working hard? Are are you do you not have have you not had burnout or have you or or the two of you kind of keep each other motivated and rolling? We had one time and and then and then my dad was like, do you know what you need? And I was like, what man? And then he just went to like the record player and put on some like vinyl. And he was like, we're gonna dance and we're gonna have a good time. And then you're gonna be fine. And like two hours later, it was just like- Of course oh. it was doing COVID. It was so doing like, COVID. So obviously- We couldn't go on vacation. You couldn't, couldn't do any all like, these stuff. Uh-huh. And he was just like, no, come on, come on down. Put on my record player, we're gonna, we're gonna dance to some, R&B, some old school soul, and you're going to be fine. It worked out because we started and, the quarantine together. Yeah, and like family. our family. So then we were fine. Can you imagine? I was like, oh, <laughs> old R&B and vinyls work. <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Yeah, well, whatever it is that kind of takes you out of your head for a little bit, you know, it's good for your dad. So no, where can dead. people find out more about you and about your book? Oh, I lied. I have what? a question. About the podcast? Yeah, so they can find out the podcast? podcast. What is the name of your podcast? It's called Day Drinking with Authors. Thank you. That needed to be said. Yes. Yeah, I say, and yes, I'm all like, yes, Day Drinking with Authors. And it was like, it was, it started in the heat of COVID, you know, when everybody was really locked down and, mm-hmm. and we really were day drinking. And I've had a couple of authors who got, like, I was surprised at how tanked they got. Um, it's not quite, you know, there's a lot, there are a couple of weeks where there are no drinks and that's good. That's, you know, balance, right? Sure. But it's fun. <laughs> We're going to call it that. Sure. Well, where can people find out more about you? Like your website? Okay, so you can find me at uh, molly-okeefe.com or mollyfader.com, no hyphen. Um, I'm on all the usual places, Twitter and Facebook. I just started TikTok. Are you guys doing TikTok? Yeah. You, you are. Do you love TikTok? How many we'll hours about, a day? We'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So you can find me in all the usual places. Molly Fader or Molly O'Keefe is usually the best way. Fabulous. Right. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I guess I'll go ahead and wrap us up. You can find out everything your ladies are doing on www.andithoughtladies.com. While you're there, go to the middle of the page to see the charities that we probably support. Maybe you can support them also. We thank you in advance for that. And just remember, y'all, wisdom is all around you. If you're open to finding it and accepting it. So peace and love, you guys. From Will Nona and Jade. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Thanks for listening.